Hey guys, in this problem we're told about three different stopwatch measurements in parts A, B, and C, and we're also told that we assume that the stopwatch time has an uncertainty of about 0.2 seconds. So we're just asked to find the percent uncertainty in all three cases. Now, the general process here is pretty simple. To find a percent uncertainty, percent uncertainty, all we have to do is take the numerical, like the original uncertainty, and divide it by the measurement. So for part A, for example, our measurement is given as 5.5 seconds. So to find the percent uncertainty, we take our uncertainty, 0.2 seconds, divide it by 5.5 seconds, and then multiply it by 100 to convert it into a percentage. So if we put that into a calculator, then we find a percent uncertainty of about 3.636%, or I think the book rounds this to 4%. So 4% is our answer for part A. Now for part B, the measurement is 55 seconds. So the process changes, the process does not change. We're just gonna do the same thing we did in part A. So 0 0.2 seconds, that's our uncertainty, divided by the measurement of 55 seconds, multiply it by 100%, and put it into a calculator, and we find a percentage now of about 0.3636%. And again, the book kind of rounds this, so this could also be written as 0.4%. Now, part C is where things get a little trickier, because the measurement we're given in part C is 5.5 minutes. Now, you can't just take 0.2 seconds and divide it by 5.5 minutes, because the units aren't going to match up that way. The units need to be the same for us to perform these divisions, because the units cancel out, and, and everything works out nicely and cleanly. So, for part C, the first thing we got to do is convert 5.5 from minutes into seconds. So, 5.5 minutes... We'll just do a chain link conversion here. So there are 60 seconds in one minute. So we're going to take 60 seconds and multiply that by 5.5 minutes. And that's about 330 seconds. So that's the time we'll use. We'll take 0 0.2 seconds and divide it by 330 seconds. And multiply that by 100%. Put that into a calculator and we find a percent uncertainty now of about 0.06%. And that is the answer to all three parts of this problem. And so that is it for this video. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please subscribe or share this channel with your friends. That'll help me out in making more videos like this. Um, if you have a request or a question, leave a comment down below. And I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye-bye.